five or six months, maybe longer. On that movie? On that movie. Yeah. And then when he come back... Uh, Did you just tell him it wasn't... I told him that I wasn't staying with his mother and daddy anymore because I just didn't like being there by myself, you know, with them. So It wasn't anything about them. It was just that you didn't no, have a nice home or anything. No, they were nice people and I loved them, but I... I just, uh, you hadn't been married that long either. I mean, you just no. had, uh, so he went back to work as a disc jockey and then we went to what, New Orleans? And, no. Um, well, Mark was born in New Orleans. No, he went to work in Memphis. He got a job in Memphis as a disc jockey. WHBQ? Yeah, WHBQ, yeah. And um, we lived in Frazier, and then he got another job in New Orleans, and he transferred to New Orleans. Okay, and so what, and and I know it wasn't that, there. yeah, Mark was born there, yeah. my brother, and then, so not too long after that, though, we ended up moving back to Memphis and moved into Graceland in like 63 and Mark was born in... Yeah, well in between there though, I went to Knoxville with you and Mark and this time he was gone almost a year and then when he came back... When he back, was back with Elvis? Yeah, he yeah. was back with Elvis and then uh, we moved to Graceland because mm -hmm. I didn't want to live with his mother and daddy. They just had a Three bedroom, I mean a three room apartment, mm -hmm. and it was crowded. Well, can so, you um, describe what it was like when you moved into Graceland, where you lived, what the routine was, who was around? When we moved into Graceland, we lived in, it was a garage apartment then. And I think Priscilla was that, yeah, Priscilla. Priscilla was there then, and uh, what was it like? Um, I mean, what was your routine? I mean, living in this mansion, you know, even though it was a little small room that we lived in, what was your day like when everybody was around? I mean, what was it like uh, well, living most in? Most people, when, it, when they were in town, were sleeping because we went to the movie at night and uh, everybody slept all day. But when they were gone, uh, I'd get up, take care of my kids. We'd go in and visit Grandma for an hour or so. And Mark would always have breakfast with her. And, even if he'd already eaten? <laughs> yeah, even if he'd already eaten. And... So, and we took our meals in our room, or...? Uh, when nobody was there, we eat wherever we wanted to. Sometimes it was in the kitchen. Sometimes we'd go out. Uh, sometimes in our room. Just depended. Mm -hmm. Did you see Joe and Billy during, well, I know Billy would have been out on the road, but did you see Joe and her kids at that point? Uh, yeah, Joe, uh, we'd go out to lunch or go shopping together. They lived over in they Whitehaven, lived, right? No, they lived, at that time, they lived on Norris Road. Oh, that's right, down. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... You mean Horn Lake Road? I'm Horn Lake Road. Yeah, yeah. Her, her, her parents' name was Norris. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and y'all would just hang out. Hey, she just had Danny then, right? She just had Danny. And I had you and Mark, and I was pregnant with Angie. In 64? In 64. Yeah. Right. Well, did Priscilla hang out with y'all or? Sometimes. Sometimes she would. Yeah. Did she, uh, well, when grandmother, your mother passed away in November of 64, she, uh, Priscilla went with you on the train. You she went me. with me to the funeral in Knoxville. My yeah. mother was buried in Knoxville and uh, she went with me on the train to Knoxville. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about the episode? No. On the train? No? No. Okay.
for those who ask, I'll fill in the blanks. All right. Um, so, but when the guys were home, what was a particular? What are you talking about? Trina? Like, I mean, yeah, did you have, did you all do things together? I mean, did you stay in your room all the time? Who was around? I just went about my life. Uh, the guys weren't there during the day. They were all at home. But in the evening? In the evenings, we'd all go to the movie. Hmm. Uh, when would they come in and start gathering around? Probably about five, six o'clock in the evening. So around dinner time? Right. And Elvis had usually, was in the midst of eating breakfast or had just finished or so. Then. Right. And because yeah. I remember we'd be sitting in later, in later years we'd be sitting in the den and then they, he would come down after everybody had come to the house. Yeah, and sometimes we'd just sit in the den, everybody would and talk, and then, uh, about 11 or 12, it would head out to the movie. Uh, he rented the movie and had two was or three movies a night. For two or three movies a night? He was real fond of... Uh, What's the guy? Peter Sellers. Yeah. 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 I can remember going and seeing What's New Pussycat with you all the one time I ever went to the movie. So, um, were there ever strangers like let into the movie at that time or was it completely closed or did they just choose uh, a let, few? There was a few that he let in. I really don't know them. They didn't really interact with him and no. Elvis, I mean, with y'all and Elvis very no. much. No, they just sit and watch the movie. Yeah. Um, who were the main people around then? Um, we know that it was like Charlie and Joe and Marty and Lamar and Billy. And Joe. Um, Joe Smith and George occasionally or all the time. George and Park Klein. His first and, wife, yeah. Uh, Richard was, Davis. Red and, and Sunny. Did you say Alan? No, I didn't say Alan. Alan. Yeah. What about Red and Sunny? Were they around then? I, I can't remember. Sunny was. Yeah, they were there then. Yeah. And their wives, of course. Right. Yeah. Um, 